Hello and welcome to Spotlight on the Arts. I'm Mark McLemore. A unique musical theater experience, Cabaret, captures the angst and the passions of a disparate group of characters living in Berlin, Germany around 1930. As Nazism spreads across Europe, they seek to drown their fears of an uncertain future at a place called the Kit Kat Club. Joining me now are the lead performers in a new production of Cabaret by the Arizona Theater Company. We're joined by Madison Micucci and Sean Patrick Doyle. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks. So first of all, let's talk about kind of the unique space that Cabaret occupies among American musicals. It's, it's not your standard fare. Although Cabaret um, you know, opened on Broadway in, in 66 and it's been around for a while, it remains very relevant in a contemporary setting because not only is it an entertaining musical, but within it is a warning against the consequences of apathy and inaction when it comes to societal unrest and, and political change. And um, although the musical doesn't um, directly address the consequences and, and the historical outcome that everybody knows occurs after the musical ends, it is a call to action and it's wrapped up in a very entertaining package. Yeah, we have this unique opportunity within the construct of a cabaret to deliver this message, this call to action and warning about apoliticism. Uh, but, you know, as the MC, I, my job is to also kind of capture um, the bodiness and the seediness and the decadence and the sexual expression and freedom uh, that was so uh, prominent in the Weimar era coming out of, um, you know, the Kaiser Wilhelm era where there was so much editing and what they can do. And so, you know, there's political lampoonery uh, and satire built into the show uh, that comments on the scenes that are happening. But we have a unique opportunity now to draw parallels to some of the problems of our time, um, sort of, you know, as our nation is kind of flirting with fascism. When talking about characters in musicals, the word iconic is thrown around a lot, but that really applies to the characters in Cabaret, because the Master of Ceremonies and Sally Bowles are both really unique characters that have kind of grown out of this work to represent people who are trapped in a difficult period in history. So is this a dream come true for you to play these characters? For sure. I think we both agree that mm -hmm. um, these are dream roles, and it's certainly my favorite male role in the musical theater canon. I'm very invested in um, having my own stamp on the MC, you know, our director Sarah Bruner, um, you know, has said, you know, sometimes there's this implicit expectation of Im of impersonation uh, when you do a classic musical, and um, she's really encouraged us to kind of find our own take on these characters. Can you think of something that, as a performer, you look to change about yourself so that instead of representing a woman of 2019, you're representing a woman of Sally's era? One of the functions of Sally is that she does represent a woman of 2019 just as much as she represents her era. I think that her circumstances make her era clear. And, you know, she's a bit of a rebel in the scene that she's in. She's certainly an unconventional uh, woman, and that's why she finds her home and her happy place in the cabaret. Well, Sean Patrick, what's a moment in the play that you look forward to every night? You know, one that I feel like I've put a particular um, unique stamp on is I Don't Care Much, which happens mid-act two, and it's sort of a pivotal moment where you see the struggle um, of the showman to kind of keep up uh, this party, this facade, um, and the want and will to kind of live forever in the fever dream of the Weimar era as um, you know, the world around them is sort of crumbling. And I think it's a, a unique moment that Sarah and I have invested a lot of energy in. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of it. Well, thank you very much for explaining some of the context and the, the deep emotional fabric that makes up Cabaret. My guests were Madison Micucci and Sean Patrick Doyle. The Arizona Theater Company production of Cabaret runs through December 29th at the Temple of Music and Art. And then it heads to Phoenix for a run from January 4th through the 26th. Thank you for watching Spotlight on the Arts.